Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. Yeah, and this uh, kind of rhymes. As you can see right here, we're back on planet Earth today, of course, in the Flight Simulator. But as you can tell already, the performance here is very terrible. We have very, very low FPS, and that is actually for a reason. Now, uh, today, as you can see, we're starting off at St. Bartholomew Island, uh, a small island with a pretty small airport. But today, we are going to talk about pretty much the opposite of that and as you can see we have a pretty large plane right in front of us already here <laughs> yeah welcome aboard the Antonov N9 now you may notice, well, this plane doesn't exist in real life, and it doesn't. Obviously, the biggest plane that Antonov makes, which is also the biggest plane on this planet, is the Antonov N-225. But the Antonov N-900 is basically the 225, but made around three or four times bigger. Like, I mean, just, you know, compare this plane to the runway that we have right in front of us. 600 meters versus 200 meters, right? Yeah, this is a 600 meter runway indeed. Not the short shortest runway in the world, really. I've even found ways to land a 737 here before. Now, yes, as I've said already, the FPS here is super bad, and that is just because this plane is so extremely large that it really, really gets on the performance of my computer, which is very interesting. We normally have around 50 FPS easily here at this kind of airport. So, yes, I know that a takeoff will definitely be super impossible on a short runway like this, but let's just do it anyway. Here we go. We are taking off. The Six huge engines are taking this plane to the sky, and this is not working out. As you can see, this plane kind of looks like it's just taxiing along. Meanwhile, we are actually, though, at a speed of 70 knots, which is super fast, really. And this is, um, wow. Obviously, we've crashed into water. That really hasn't worked. But let's just try flying to a big airport then. And for this plane, we'll definitely need one. <laughs> Now here it says how much runway it at least needs, and that is 10,000 feet at the maximum takeoff weight, which is 7 million pounds, 3,200 tons. Let me just mention here, a normal 737 weighs like 50 tons or something, and this is just crazy. Actually, 10,000 feet is not super much. Most big international airports do have that kind of runway, so, I mean, actually we could try flying this plane at a little bit of a bigger airport, Princess Juliana Airport, you know, that airport with the interesting beach in front of it. So we won't won't have to travel through the world to find a suitable one. There we go. We're immediately here at Princess Juliana Airport. And, um, well, this still looks very interesting. Just the size comparison between the runway and the and the plane is just super weird. Also, like, how do you taxi this plane? Like, there's no way this plane is going to fit on any taxiway here. But let's just go ahead and fly this one out of here. All right, we're going full power. Let's just release the brakes. And I guess we are rolling. Now, how confident am I? about this flight working out. Yeah, I'd say there's a little bit of a chance at least that we're actually gonna make it here. Now, while we are rolling along, it's time for me to remind you to subscribe. Over 60% of viewers haven't subscribed yet. Just subscribe, goddamn. All right, there we go. We have reached around 200 knots, which is the speed that the Antonov N900 can actually take off. That means we have taken off this very huge plane out of Princess Juliana, which is just crazy. Now, as I've already said, we are flying right now at 230 not, but it really doesn't look like this plane is flying so fast because it's just so large. It's a little bit of an optical illusion, really. It looks like this plane is flying at like 150 knots, but we're actually flying at 270 now, which is actually an airspeed that we cannot even fly a plane at, at an altitude of below 10,000 feet. You know, that's air law. Um, so yeah, that is this super large plane. Let's just try flying it to some interesting places and see what else it can do. Um, for example, we can go to Le Mole Air Airport, an airport that I uh, like to fly to pretty much in every video. It has a 1200 meter long runway, which is not nearly enough for this plane to operate. But this place can serve some interestingly large planes, though. So let's just go ahead and do that here. Now, what we can do actually here as well is carry another aircraft. For example, a 747-400. There we go. This will probably not be that much of an issue. <laughs> yeah, we can have a little bit of a size comparison here. All right, now we'll come aboard the Antonov N-900. Um, actually, we are on final approach here on this uh, 
Lamal uh, Mall Airport. But before we actually land this plane, let's maybe do some handling tests here um, and see how this plane actually handles despite its large weight and large size, obviously. Now, as I've already said, we have a 747-400 on board. A uh, very, very large plane. It looks super small, super tiny next to our Antonov N900. It's just crazy. Jesus, like, wow. It's, that is, <laughs> wow. I mean, we can maybe have like a little bit of a size comparison, you know, to a human. <laughs> you know, a human would be as large as maybe the mouse cursor right now. And this just gives us a little bit of a perspective of how large this plane is. Yeah, indeed. Let's just imagine one person equals a mouse cursor here. Now, obviously, now the question arises whether a plane this big would actually be possible to build and especially possible to fly. And I think it would be possible to build such a large airplane and actually fly it. I mean, it's just the laws of physics as long as you have wings that provide enough lift and engines that provide enough power in order to get these wings to lift this plane. Very interesting sentence there. It should be totally possible to get such a plane into the air. Now, obviously, I don't know the practical sides of whether it's possible to even build a plane like this. You know, a 900 Antonov that's bigger than any hangar that's ever been built for sure. But I guess that's a whole nother story because, well, the obviously most interesting thing is why? <laughs> why would you build such a plane that is so large that a 747 could easily fit onto it and it would not even, like, really care? I mean, this 3,200 ton plane, 7 million pounds. Yes, indeed, this plane is 64 times heavier than a 737, which is crazy to think about. All right, let's just go ahead and get this plane landed then on this pretty short runway. Let's check out the landing performance of this plane and uh, test if a 1200 meter long runway is enough for this plane as well. Now, especially here at the lower speeds, the handling of this plane really sucks. No, like, like there's no response at all. There's no impact on the controls. When we actually go to the left entirely, I'm rolling to the left right now and it's not happening. That's obviously the problem that comes with such a large plane. Let's maybe try getting it landed here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it has been at a hard landing. Wow. You don't even realize when the ground is there because you're so high up from the ground. Let's maybe try to uh, get this plane stopped, which will not happen. And that really has not happened. Damn, this plane needs an enormous runway for sure. I mean, it is enormous. There we go. We have landed barely. I mean, <laughs> look at the runway size comparison. That's just crazy. And again, just next to the 747. It's, it's pretty cute. All right, then. Now, obviously, an interesting question I've asked myself is how heavy can we get this plane? The heaviest plane, like, you know, how heavy it can get. What did I just say? I'm having, I'm having a stroke. All right, let's go ahead and get some weight in here. Okay. Now, as I've already said, 320 tons is the maximum takeoff weight, but that doesn't mean anything. We can go even heavy, heavier than that. All right, let's go for 500 tons and see how much that weight flies, alright? Yeah, this is also an older video series of mine. How heavy can this or that plane get? And we are just rolling. I'm just gonna give this plane a little bit of time. I think to make this a little bit easier for this plane, we can, uh, you know, get rid of the 747. And normally we could just press the space bar to separate these planes and it's not working for some reason. <laughs> Come on. At least we are gaining speed quite quickly. We are at 80 knots already. I think this will maybe be actually a liftoff. We just have to get like a hundred or so more knots on our clock, which, uh, come on. 225, maybe we can get some liftoff. And there we go. Front is up, nose is up. There we go. We have left the ground at a weight of over 500 tons. That's just amazing. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night. Yeah.